Time to check in with Pei Chen, who is filling in for Jennifer Valentine, who's off this week. Morning, Pei. You're at something called The Shop. It's a do-it-yourselfer. I know you're very crafty when it comes to food, but can you fashion your own ceramic pot, picture frame? You know, answer I, me this. Hey, you know what, Dee? I actually took a ceramics class before. Of course you did. And I Pei made... <laughs> But I, I made like a mug and a bowl, which my parents keep at the very back of the cupboard. They will never, they don't use it. You gave it to your <laughs> Isn't parents. That sad? Like when you were a kid wah, wah. and you make the macaroni bowls. They don't I use it. I know, but it. I was like in my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> I made it as an adult, you know. It's the <laughs> thought that counts. Child. It's the next time you keep yeah, it, you'll it use it. Yeah, it is the thought. <laughs> well, I, if not, I'll, I'll drag it out and then I'll give it to you. But I don't know if, if you have any like artistic ambitions. Um, absolutely or not. Have painted? You know, I tried to paint. I used to like um, the paint by number. You know those? Yes. That was a good Were time. Were you even good? That was a good time, huh? You yeah, did well with that. Not well, really I, you know, I love places. I love, I love places like this, as you mentioned. I'm at the shop, and uh, one of the things that really caught my eye that we're going to see in a little bit. D, I don't know if you know about this. There's bee hotels, and that's something we're going to talk about in a little bit because I'm a big supporter oh, of bees in the city. Yeah, we need them are for you? food. Yes, yes, absolutely. Their yes. populations are dwindling, so we need to let them thrive in their little hives because they're so important for all of our food production. Yeah, I agree, and I feel like people need to know that they, they should be planting things that are friendly uh, to bees and not be afraid of them because they're, yeah. they're really quite harmless unless you bother them. So it's one of those things that I, whenever I have the chance to talk about it because um, I actually have a little beehive in the city. Did you know that? I did not know that. When do we get to see it? Uh, you can cut you can come check out my bees anytime. They're actually being moved to the Toronto Zoo uh, But I will bring you some honey because you are sweet. Oh, Dina. you're so sweet. Forget Beyonce. <laughs> We've got our queen bee and that's Pei Chen, baby. Come check out yeah, our bees. That's right. so <laughs> I'll show you my bees sometime, and I'll bring you some sweet honey. Um, down here at the shop, as I mentioned, it's at College and Dufferin, and it's a maker's studio. So I've got Carmen here, who is one of the instructors for, is it looming or loom weaving? Loom weaving, yeah. yeah. Loom weaving. And, and so what kind of things do people make when they're here? Mostly wall hangings. I think people like to make something they can put in their house. It's like um, something they've made with their hands and something that uh, is with fibers. Yeah. yeah. So now how, show me a little bit of how you sure. do this. Yeah. So it's basically just, I mean, it's really simple. Tapestry weaving is, it's kind of like sewing a lot, mm -hmm. but you're using yarn. And you were mentioning that a lot of people uh, take the class because they just want to make something that they can hang on their wall at home that they've made themselves. And you've got some samples here of things that you've made. Thank you very much. And I've got, now I've got Carly and Dan with me, the creators of the B Hotel. And I love this because I was looking for like a sign that says free Wi-Fi, vacancy, we have color TVs and cable. Um, so Dan, tell me very quickly what the, the B Hotel is. So Bee Hotel is a great place for solitary bees, which are important native pollinators, to rest and actually give them a place to nest. You know, they will lay an egg in here, leave it some pollen, and then they'll seal it. You'll actually know that there are no vacancies when they seal these holes with mud. Really? So like if, if, they, if these little holes are sealed with mud, then you know that there's a bee living in there. Well, the bee has moved in, and what will happen is the baby bee will be left in there, it will eat all the pollen, and then once it's ready to hatch, it will it'll stay there, it'll eat up, and then it'll fly out, break through the mud. That's amazing. And the great thing is, is that you actually offer a workshop where people can make uh, a bee hotel here at yeah. the shop. So if people want, and these are great, I think it's a great gift and something that everyone who has a yard should definitely have, have a little bee hotel, let the bees rest, and help their gardens, right? For sure. Thank you both so much. We're spending the morning down here at the shop at College in Dufferin. Back with more on BT after this.